Last year, he turned $25,000 into, are you sitting down, $177,000. This year, his portfolio has gone from $177,000 to over $335,000. Joining us to share his unconventional investing style is Shafiq Karani. He's a division director and senior executive financial advisor with Investors Group. He now joins us from Calgary. I know a lot of people have these little, small tax free savings accounts, uh, Shafiq, and they wonder how they're ever going to get large. You've done it. <laughs> I gather you have a kind of unconventional method of investing. Tell us about it. Yeah, you know, we've always, you know, with our clients, tried to break away from the traditional approach to investing. And, and you know, a lot of the times the traditional approach is just, you know, max out your RSPs, max out your TSAs, pay down your mortgage, and you're going to be rich. And, and, you know, working in the financial services industry for the last 20 years, I've never, um, never seen that happen once. So with my own personal style, I, I've tried to break away from traditional thinking. Instead of treating myself like a person, I, I try to treat myself like a corporation. And, and the TFSA itself is basically one business unit. And maybe there are multiple business units like a, an RSP, a corporate account, an investment account, some real estate. So th with the TFSA, what I decided to do is instead of believing diversification creates wealth, I decided to believe that concentration creates wealth. And I was prepared to take a little bit more risk, so I, I, I bought one stock uh, that turned 25 grand into 50, and then I bought another one that turned 50 into 100, and then, and then uh, it's better to be lucky than good sometimes. I, I have heard from a number of very wealthy people over my many years of watching markets that uh, concentration really is the most successful, whether it's your own business, whether it's an individual investment. But you don't recommend this necessarily for uh, your clients because, of course, 25,000 went to 50, but it can also go to zero, and then you got nada. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think, you know, the Egyptians, they built the pyramids wide before they built tall. And you have to build a foundation, which is, you know, having some safety in, t in terms of your TFSA and your RSPs, uh, equity in your house. You know, the problem is you just don't build tall by building wide your entire life. So I, I, we don't recommend this for my clients. I'm not securities licensed anyhow. So what we do is with our clients, we do active management. I just thought I was willing to take a little bit of risk with my t 25 grand in the TFSA in it. It was. Uh, it turned out well. Um, so, um, and you mentioned uh, there might be, might have been a little bit of luck in it. When you're looking at the markets broadly, more broadly in Canada for the RSP, which maybe shouldn't be uh, the uh, the high flying uh, part of uh, uh, an investor's wealth or for the regular account, what are the kinds of trends you're seeing for investors in Canada in terms of areas to maybe concentrate on? Yeah, Francis, great question. You know, I think. Sometimes we tend to look at the markets a little too outward reaching. We point the finger in a certain direction. I think one of the biggest mistakes that the Canadian investors generally make is they don't point the finger in the right direction. I think sometimes we need to point our, the finger at ourselves first. So the first mistake I think people might make is not self-evaluating enough. Uh, you know, you can't build a puzzle without a picture of the box. And I think the first mistake people make is they need to see forward thinking. They need to see where they're going. They need a plan. The second mistake in terms of sector trends, we're going through a sector rotation. You've seen energy go down from 107 bucks to 75 bucks a barrel. There, there might be other opportunities in different sectors, like, you know, healthcare is looking very good right now. There are good valuations. And, you know, you shouldn't be afraid to just sell them, to, to basically change your asset allocation to look at some fixed income investments. I know the yields are low in fixed income, but it's actually pretty safe and it's better than losing money. In terms of uh, how you think about markets, are you a trend follower or you're a contrarian? I, I'm definitely a contrarian. I, I, you know, you could probably sense that from the TFSA. I don't believe that we should uh, follow the traditional path towards getting rich because I just don't think it works. I think people need to stop thinking that they're people and they need to start treating themselves like they're corporations. You know, and corporations have something called a... Sorry, go ahead. No, I, I, I'll ask you a question after you finish your thought. All I was going to say, Francis, is corporations, they have something called a, a weighted average cost of capital or a debt equity ratio. And people don't treat themselves like that. People treat themselves like people, like no debt. You know, I'm going to work for my money instead of making the money work for me. That's all I was going to say. And, and if you were a, a corporate executive in Canada looking out to 2015, what would be the industry that you think you might find the best return on capital from? Yeah, if, if I'm trying to make uh, money for myself, what I would really do is not, I, I wouldn't do what I did in the TFSA and make large concentrated bets with my serious money. 
I would make sure that I'm well diversified into four or five different industries. So there's large cap versus small caps. I would probably lean towards the large cap um, sector right now. There's domestic versus foreign. I would probably lean a little bit more domestically, including North America. And I would lean towards certain s sectors that I like, you know, financial services, healthcare. That's kind of the stuff that we're leaning for with our clients. And I would stick to that right now. And Shafiq, what is that 377000 in your tax-free savings account invested in right now? Right now, I am in cash. I sold everything, and I'm holding uh, in cash for the next little, for the next little wait while. And I'm going to wait for another, you know, black swan opportunity, and then uh, I'm going to make another concentrated bet. Call us when you have it. We'll have you back on, Shafiq. <laughs> Thanks, Francis. Thanks very much for joining us. Uh, Shafiq Harani is a division director and senior executive financial advisor with Investors Group. He was in Calgary.